Mr. Jacob Rees Mogg. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Will my right honourable friend clearly reject the negotiating mandate handed out by the European Council? Paragraph one of which undermines the principle of nothing being agreed until everything has been agreed, and paragraph four of which would make the United Kingdom in the transition phase no more than a vassal state, a colony, a serf of the European Union. So can I urge my right honourable friend? I want to hear the honourable gentleman who's in full flow. Let me hear the fullness of the order. I want to hear the fullness of the flow. Mr. Rees Mogg. Mr. Speaker, I was going to urge my right honourable friend to model herself on her predecessor, the late noble Baroness Thatcher, and show real metal and steel in rejecting these rather hostile negotiating terms from the European Union. Prime Minister. My honourable friend, the negotiation is between two parties. We will be very clear about the partnership that we want to have uh, for the future with the European Union on both trade but also security matters, and I set out the framework for that in my Florence speech. My honourable friend has asked me before about the uh, relationship between the UK and the European Union during the implementation periods. I have just uh, uh, indicated in response to the uh, Honourable Lady, the Member for Vauxhall, actually the purpose of that implementation period is to ensure that businesses and individuals can continue to operate and be reassured of the basis on which they're operating while the necessary changes are put in place that lead to that future partnership, uh, that future trade agreement that we will have achieved. I've also said before in this House that there may be elements, and I said it in my Florence speech, of uh, that uh, arrangement that we'll be able to bring forward. So, for example, if we are able to bring forward a dispute resolution mechanism during that period, then we would look to do so.